How cool was that intro? Have you ever seen coffee made like that before? Uh, I've always been intrigued by one of these coffee towers. It's called a Kyoto cold brew tower or a Yama cold brew tower. It's crazy. It takes three hours to brew eight cups. I believe this is an eight cup carafe. They have a 25 cup version that takes 13 hours. 13 hours to brew 25 cups of coffee. So let me just show you how this thing works because it's, it's pretty interesting. It's made up of these three tiers. So this thing comes in pieces and you screw it together and it makes these three or one, two, three basically platforms with the top where the hopper sits. So this here is the hopper. Now it's got like a little spout on it and that spout controls the drip flow. So if you have it wide open, it just pours out. So you just wanna finely tune it so that it's said about like one drop per second is, is what it's said to, to need. So that gets filled with ice. You can't even see that, it's so tall. And that goes in the top deck. Bam, and then a little lid goes on it and you're good. That's where the ice and the water goes. Now that flows one drip at a time into this middle carafe. There's water spots on these because I just took them out of the dishwasher and I, I didn't open the door right away. You know, and you don't let the steam out and you open it up later and everything's wet and stupid and you're like, this is where the coffee goes. A little ceramic puck filter drops down inside and then a paper filter on top. All of your coffee grounds then get dumped in and fill up here and another filter goes on top and that slides in to the second level. Okay, so we're dripping down onto the filter through all the coffee into this little spiral tube and this is where it gets, this is where it gets fun. Look at this thing. This is Walter White. Or actually I should say it's very Gale. Gale from Breaking Bad would be more of a, of a direct reference, accurate, if you will. This little spiral connects to the center column tube and then that fits through the little hole and stays, stays seated via this little O-ring. And then the little carafe, your little eight cupper goes down and you make sure that's lined up with the spout here, all of these things and you're good to go. That whole tower is now set. Ice goes on top, drips one drip per second onto the coffee, through the spiral, down into the carafe, and the entire process is said to remove a lot of acidity that you get with cold brew and coffee based on how this is made over time. And uh, we're gonna do a little taste test here and see if it's any different than your average cold brew that you just buy in a can, because let's be honest, you just open a can of Golden Hour cold brew, or any cold brew for that matter, and it's usually Pretty damn good. So what does three hours do through this whole glass contraption that a can does not? Is that actually worth it? All right, so this has been going for about an hour now. Not the full three hours, but enough that I can actually pour a glass of this cold brew for myself. So, because I wanna go home today. Bam, didn't miss a drop. Didn't miss a drop. That right there is an hour of brew time. That oh, smells strong. Straight to the bathroom strong. That's pretty good. Yo, that's pretty good with some ice in here. It needs ice for sure. There needs to be ice in here. It's a little bit like but it's smooth. Bro, that's not bad at all. Okay, okay, what's up? Yeah, I'm a cold brew tower. I'm impressed. I thought it would be total garbage, to be honest. I was like, there's this, this is stupid. Folks, that's the Yama cold brew tower, also known as the Kyoto cold brew tower. Yeah, I mean, if you're a huge coffee nerd and you're down to wait an eternity for a single cup of cold brew that you can enjoy singularly, and your friends can watch you enjoy it, then yeah, I would say this is for you. If you're like a regular person that just wants a cold brew, just open a can and you'll probably not notice any difference. But it's pretty cool to look at. Makes for some good footage, makes for some good photos. Stay tuned for the next coffee contraption that will also blow your mind. Would you like to see the cold brew tower? Look, 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 look here. See that? That takes three hours. It's for the views. This coffee maker takes 13 hours to make a single cup of coffee. What the f- Hey, look, look at this. Sit down, buddy. Get ready? Here we go, here we go. 
This here is a... No, look. No, not at me. Look at this. Look at this. You shall be in this intro. This here is a cold brew tower. This funny looking contraption takes 13 hours to make a single cup of coffee. But is it any good? I know. 13 hours, by the way, dude. Yo, hey, hey, talking to you. Hey. 13 hours for... Please stop. No, look here. Don't look at me. Yes, this thing. Do you know how much coffee that is?